The Rio Grande Zoo's most popular exhibit is going to get a major $8 million makeover. City Council tonight is expected to pick the company that will be in charge of that construction. News 13's Jackie Kent is live at the Rio Grande Zoo with a preview. Jackie. Dean, zoo staff say they could be doing a better job for visitors and the animals. They're calling upgrades to the Australia region of the zoo a priority. It's a popular spot at the Rio Grande Zoo. I love it. I think Australia is just really cool. I mean, the animals are cool. I love it. I, I would like for them to uh, improve it a little more, though. The current outback area showcasing tree kangaroos, bright Australian birds, colorful fish, an eight-year-old Tasmanian devil, and wombats is in an aging 18-year-old space. The city council tonight will vote on whether to approve Studio Southwest Architects as the architectural consultant group to design and construct what will be the new Australia exhibit. It could definitely use it and it'd be really cool. The upgrade for this space is part of the Biopark Master Plan, a list of projects approved by voters and paid for with the Biopark tax. It brought in nearly 18 million this past fiscal year. The master plan proposes expanding the space by more than 500 percent to more than 63,000 square feet and moving the saltwater crocodile to the area. I think that would be really cool because the uh, the crocodile is kind of hard to see where it's at right now. It's kind of far away. We want to get closer to it. And with the possibility of adding a flying fox, wallabies, and the zoo tells News 13 they hope to bring back the koalas. The total construction cost? An estimated eight million dollars. According to the memorandum, the city anticipates that the renovated exhibit will help bring more zoo visitors through these gates. The only new part of that Australia exhibit zoo staff could confirm with us today that will be here is the addition of two new Tasmanian dev devils, excuse me, that are coming here next month. And as for the construction, they say that's at least a year away. Dean, back to you. All right, we look forward to that. Jackie, thank you. The Biopark says bids are out now for an architect for the Asia exhibit. They anticipate the construction of that big project to happen at the same time as construction on the Australia exhibit.